Oh, hey, Jeb Brooks from greenergrass.com here. Thanks so much for tuning in. So here's the deal. I'm in Bali right now and it's time to go home. Now most people I think would travel across the Pacific, maybe through Singapore or Tokyo or something like that. But I'm not interested in going home the way I came, which in my case was through Tokyo, uh, on Delta Airlines inaugural A350 service. If you haven't checked out that video, I hope you will. I'm going instead back the other way. So I'm connecting from here onto Jakarta with Garuda Indonesia. From there I'm going to fly with Etihad, my first experience with them, to Abu Dhabi and then on to Washington DC's Dulles International Airport. So I look forward to the trip. I hope you'll enjoy it as well. Keep watching to find out what happens. Let's get started. My first stop was the Garuda Indonesia check-in lounge. It was a pretty nice way to start my trip and then I began exploring this beautiful airport. Believe it or not, it's really nice. Hey, from the uh, Garuda Indonesia lounge on the domestic side here in Denpasar. Uh, so I'm now waiting for my flight to Jakarta. Uh, it should be boarding in about an hour or so. Uh, I am, uh, it, it is an A330, uh, which will be exciting to be on a wide body for such a short flight. It's only about an hour, so see you on the plane. That hour in the lounge flew by, and before I knew it, it was time to board the A330. I'd come down with Garuda Indonesia from Tokyo in their first class cabin, so I was excited to try business class. Now, of course, the food wasn't as good, the seat wasn't as comfortable uh, or as private, but that same warm Indonesian service was certainly present. I felt incredibly welcomed. To be quite candid, these are terrible seats. I've sat in this seat with Air France on some of their older business class products before, and they're just awkward. Uh, not having direct aisle access is certainly understandable in business class, but this really takes it to another level. There was time for a hot towel and a cold glass of water before we taxied out and took off. As wonderful as my first class experience was, the entertainment was terrible. And I've got to be honest, uh, there's no change in business class. There's just not a lot of great selection here. Shortly after takeoff, I pulled out my tray and got ready to eat. every bit the business class meal. Uh, it was very good. I, I must say I really enjoy Indonesian food and Garuda presented it very well. Now back to this seat. It's just awkward as I said. I couldn't get out of the seat without crawling over, falling over my seatmate, which wouldn't have been a problem if I'd known her, but I didn't. Fortunately, looking out the window was much more interesting to me than getting out of the seat.
It's easy to see why Garuda Indonesia is a five-star airline. My business class experience, while not as special as the first class flight I took, was very uh, comfortable. The service was uh, very warm and I felt welcomed. Now, despite the bad seat and the weak entertainment, I can't wait to fly Garuda Indonesia again. So after that uh, quick hour and 40 minute flight, it was time to make my way from Terminal 1 here in Jakarta over to the older Terminal 3 to catch an Etihad flight eight hours to Abu Dhabi. Join me as I share that flight next.